I got another dip bait. I've just been mixing up, stirring up, getting it was separated. Been sitting in my shed for about two years. I got one more out there too. That's a good head shaker. <laughs> Gotta love it. This is definitely the biggest one for the day. Oh, I just get to see him. That's where they're supposed to work fishing these snags. You get the fish to come out of the snag, grab it, turn around, go right back in, set the hooks themselves. Oh, he ain't so big compared to the other two. bad boy back out there where it's doing its job and take a look at that one. I think it is the biggest one for the day. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or not. their butt guts are just full. Yeah, uh, he ain't that bad. He's a good keeper. He'll eat well. And they're cold. Like I say, what I say it was down there? 58 degree water. That should be number four. Got a 10 fish limit. All right, folks, we're going to cook us up some catfish we pulled out of the river there. A little bit different. Most videos you see, they're deep fat frying. Nothing wrong with it. I love it as much as the next person, but there's more than enough of it in the world. We're going to throw it on the grill. It's absolutely simple, easy. There's no grease, no nothing. Catfish has quite a bit of grease in it itself. It's an oilier fish. Come on. About as much as you want in that small of a grill. And cover it up. Another thing we don't have is batter. When we get there, I'll show you what I'm going to season it with. All right. Surprisingly, I uh, get on there. Surprisingly, they do stay together a little bit better than what you would think. But you still got to be okay with them. Uh, 
damn it, anyhow. person wanted to, they could uh, most definitely grease the runners a little bit. I have a little bit of stickage on this one when I get out the big one, which is being my tripod right now. That has porcelain on it. Much better for the uh, stick. Another one, no grease. This is another one you want to be really careful with. Not particularly this name, salt. Salt is not good for you in the quantities that most of us eat it. But I like uh, the Cajun stuff. I just like that flavoring on mine. And you don't have to overkill. Very easy to do. All right, half done. Let's cook the other side. I flipped these one and a half times. I'm going to let that cook through. I'm going to flip it over, salt the other side. Got to get more salt on. I just told you not to do that. That's what we're going to do. Going to be good. Oh yeah. Give you a little closer shatter of this here. What's going on here? This microphone and all the stuff together with it. Grilled cat. Like I said, we're going to flip. Put that evil salt on this side. I say one brand is just as good as another. I kind of like some Cajun seasoning, a little bit of hot peppery stuff in there. Those things are done. The fish something you don't want to eat on the raw side and you really 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 got to leave it in there to make it you know to burn it to ruin it just leave it in there one more time I do three flips on a basic fillet you know if they get bigger fish which I really don't like bigger fish but I'll keep them occasionally fillets like that I'll do four flips twice on each side it's like a steak just like a steak I think I'm going to need a plate real quick. How's that looking, folks? It's time to get them off there. I just fed the cats one. <laughs> Bummer. Bummer. We'll get this closed up. You can see there is a little bit of stickage there. I did not use any grease, nothing on the grill, nothing on the fish. Uh, paddled them dry, paper towels, down they went, on they went. Uh, hotter than hell yet, but the tails and the skinny part, they'll get a little crispy on you. Well, ooh, oh. There you go. Whatever you put on for seasoning, 
that's pretty much what you get. We're out in South Dakota, we got walleyes out there in that Missouri River. Hundreds of thousands of them get yanked out of there every year. A fantastic fish, but you did this by themselves, just fish, they ain't got no flavor. Whatever you put on them, that's what you're eating. Catfish have flavor. Just add a little bit. Good stuff, that's how I don't expect to do it every time. I eat uh, deep fried, we eat that around here. Very, very little, but we do eat it. Most time we do something alternative. This is just one of the ways I do catfish. Thanks a lot for coming along. If you like this stuff, hit the old thumbs up if you love it. Uh, subscribe if you're not. As always, thanks a lot for coming along.